Hey YouTube, it's the test lead and today's video is 5 Tips for SDET Automation Engineers. Automation testing can be described as the process of automating manual testing. The purpose of testing is to find bugs and defects in a program as early as possible. Every application should be tested before it is automated to confirm it is bug free. The benefit of automation testing compared to manual testing is the speed and efficiency that tests can be run at. This video will go into detail on these 5 topics. Having a go-to language, keeping an open mind, understanding the basic concepts of testing, seeking mentorship, and becoming fluent in testing and tracking tools. Also, please note the full transcript is in the description box below. Have a go-to language. As a software developer engineer and test, doing automation, you need a go-to language. This should be an object-oriented programming language such as c -sharp or Java. Once you have a solid understanding of one of these languages, learning other languages to code becomes very easy. All object-oriented programming languages have the same core concepts, just a difference in text. Once you know what you are trying to accomplish with your tests, map it out in whatever language you are most comfortable in first. Then, with a simple Google search, you can get the proper syntax for whatever programming language you are using to code the automated test. Keep an open mind. There will always be a better, more efficient way to write your code. Embrace code reviews when given the opportunity. For those who are still new to the concept of code reviews, this is the process of having a peer or supervisor review your code before it's pushed and merged to the master branch. In this review, they will make suggestions on various parts of your code. They are not attacking your code or saying it is bad, they are just saying you can make it better with a few suggestions. This will help you become a better coder as well as see different things from another person's perspective. Ask the reviewer about what their thought process was when they were making their suggestions. Take notes on what they say. Then the next time you're coding, take a second to reflect on what they said and continue to strive for the cleanest code in your automation. Understanding the basic concepts of testing. You are a coder who also knows how to test, so it's important you don't forget about the testing part. Just like a manual tester, you should be able to write test plans, write test cases, identify the proper steps for any test scripts, identify bugs, defects, then track them until fixed. Your job is to catch any bugs and defects as early as possible in a software development lifecycle process. Make sure complete testing coverage exists between the manual and automated tests. Seek mentorship. Don't be afraid to ask for help. There's a good chance there's a more experienced coder as part of your team in your workplace. Ask them for help when needed. They will be flattered that you see them as someone knowledgeable and are usually open to helping. They can often pass down different tips and tricks that took them years to learn. This will help expedite your learning process and make you a better developer. Your mentor does not have to be another automation engineer. It can be a regular full stack developer as well. Also, you don't have to just limit yourself to just one mentor. When people see that you are eager to learn, they are more willing to teach. And finally, become fluent in testing and tracking tools. Your job is not just writing code in Notepad. There is a good chance you will be using different tools throughout your daily workflow. Testing tools that are very popular include Selenium, Appium, SoapUI, and Postman. Test case and bug tracking tools that are very popular include IBM Rational Quality Manager, Jira, Azure DevOps, and practice tests. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.